making a change today. The lid that been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. Hey, Battle Bays. Welcome back to another video. It's me, Andrea, and we are getting ready for a little Valentine's Day surprise. And I'm super excited. This is my first one. I'm meeting new people. Oh my gosh. If you are new here, I'm Andrea, and I talk about whatever I want. I'm usually uploading blogs. I talk about military, nursing, and respiratory therapy. So if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe. So if you can't tell by the title, this is a get ready with me. I already did my hair. I did a little bit of skincare. So yeah, one of my coworkers ended up inviting me to a little Valentine's Day celebration that she is having at her house. That's why I got this cute little thing on right here. Those little, I mean, it ain't too sexy because I can't open it up. But you know, just to get in a little Valentine's Day mood, I decided to put this on while I film this video but yes I'm super excited and it's one of those things where we're gonna wear like the matching outfits and let me show y'all let me show y'all this is the little Audi fitty that I got from Amazon so it's just a little two-piece red top bottom type of set the short set so yeah I'm just yeah she actually just texted me so I'm going to hurry up and try to get through this. I am doing my makeup right now y'all and my thing is I don't really be doing my makeup like that anymore so I'm not that good at it anymore but I'm going to try to do it anyway. So let's go ahead and get started and while I'm doing my makeup let's just talk about whatever I want to talk about okay. But before I do that let me see is there anything I need to do off camera. Nah, if I make mistakes, we're gonna make mistakes on camera. All right. And if y'all swaying back and forth just a little bit, please excuse that. If y'all understood the way I got y'all rigged up here, I try my best. As far as a primer, I don't have a primer. I usually just go in first with this setting spray. I have this Rare Beauty. This is the Always Optimist 4 in 1. Yeah. I use that. And I just sprayed it on my face first and let that dry down. What is leaking now? Already? Already. We really, okay, we acting a fool already. As far as foundation, I was going to go ahead and use my Rare Beauty as well, but I want a little bit more of a fuller coverage. So I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Sandalwood. It's the 6W1. So I'm going to be using that. And y'all, I'm telling you, I don't, I really do not be doing my makeup. So wish me luck and one thing that i do that i did learn as far as me applying my own makeup is i like using these little sponges or a brush more than i like using a beauty blender i used to use a beauty blender all the time but since i've discovered these little things and this is kind of similar i just use these instead anywho if you've been watching me you know that i'm in the military and i'm currently on my way out of the military um, I'm getting out of the military due to um, no longer being medically fit to be in the military and that's kind of bittersweet I'm gonna be completely honest and it's hard it's hard because everything is up in the air everything is moving so fast that is perfect I haven't worn this in so long but every single time I put it on I'm just like wow that's like perfect look at that I hope this light not too bright but that looks so good anyway um what was i saying everything is so scary and when i say i don't think i've ever been this stressed out like the med board process alone is really stressing me out because usually the way i run my life and the way i do things is when i get to a point when i'm getting a little too overwhelmed and i'm getting really really stressed out i'll take leave for like a week or so just to recoup just to gather my thoughts get myself together kind of refocus myself when you're in the med board process, you don't have that opportunity. You literally cannot take leave when you're in a med board process. So as far as I'm concerned, when I went to ask about taking leave or taking like some type of mental break, basically my chain of command said, the policy said no. All I heard was, bitch, suck it up. We don't care about your mental health. You just gonna have to push through it. So that's honestly what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to focus as much as I possibly can on the things that I can control and for the most part, obviously, I'm not like stuck in a hospital nowhere or, you know. So it's been working okay, but I still feel like everything is so up in the air. I don't really have a plan as far as getting out. So I don't even, I, like, honestly, I don't even know why I started this as a talking point. Because when I say I'm so clueless as to what I am doing right now, it's scary. 
it is so scary i'm the type of person that i have a plan a a plan b and i have literally everything listed out on what all of those paths are supposed to look like as of right now i have nothing and with everything being in the air it's like I can't really start to plan anything until everything starts to fall into place. And I just, it's just not. And I'm so, <laughs> so stressed out. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at right now with that. And I'm also trying to figure out what life after the military is supposed to look like. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I'm going to be in charge of like my own schedule. Nobody's going to be telling me what to do and what to wear and where to go and things like that. Like obviously when I get another job, I'm still going to have those requirements. Like you have to wear this uniform, you have to do this, you have to do that. But ultimately is not to the extent where if I don't do these things, I can go to jail. It's ultimately up to me to be completely responsible for myself. And I don't know. I don't, I don't, I just don't know how to operate that way. Because coming into the military for me was a so my thing is I don't hate the military at all. If anything, I'm so joining the military and doing my time was probably still the best thing that I could have ever done for myself because before I joined the military I wasn't necessarily the best person to to know like I wasn't a good person on top of that I was homeless with my son I just the army turned me into something that I was proud to look at basically and so even though I know I no longer owe the army anything I I've, I've given myself, I've given my body, I've given my mind, I've given my time. I've done what I needed to do. It's still hard to leave it behind, you know? So I'm just trying to get an understanding on what my life is supposed to look like after the army. And on top of that, I feel like at some point, I kind of buried my identity in the military and that is making it even harder to, um, what is it to detach myself from it and the idea of like not being a soldier anymore so yeah but as far as after the military uh, as far as after the military i'm not sure obviously if you guys again if you guys watch me you know that i got accepted into nursing school i am a respiratory therapist and i am also an lpn but ultimately i do want to continue to pursue nursing because i want to be a crna i want to at least try my hand at crna and yeah i'm just excited that i got accepted into nursing school so at the very least at least i have that going for me and i can start planning something around that as far as like where to live and you know budgeting and and paying for school and what my routine is supposed to look like stuff like that so i'm super excited about that y'all see this that's so nice I'm just hoping it's looking right because I don't know the lighting in the bathroom I have a ring light right now but the lighting in the bathroom be tricking you you think your stuff looks so good and then you step outside and it's like psych <laughs> no um and excuse this eyebrow again if you watch me you know the doctors the military doctors gave me some bad Botox I bet I get chronic migraines I have a lot of conditions if you're new here but one of them is chronic migraines and I was paying out of pocket for the longest time to get Botox for my migraines specifically and um the army finally I I talked about it with my provider they were surprised that I was paying out of pocket they're like oh no we'll handle it the first time I literally this is the first only the last time I will ever let these people touch my face again but they did give me Botox for the first time by like on post by a military doctor and they completely fucked it up I have all the things that I never wanted my concerns and stuff that I address everything everything that I didn't want to happen with my Botox happened so i am dealing with the consequences of that one being spot brow net like a uh, muscle weakness it's it's a lot it's a lot i keep telling myself don't look don't let those look if you get botox don't let those doctors touch your face in the military go off post it's, it's definitely worth it to pay off post and i just should have went and continued to pay like i've been doing anyway um so ignore this eyebrow if you see it going clear up there so <laughs> it's an insecurity of mine right now but um yeah so i'm excited that i can at least plan around like going to nursing school and stuff like that and that's super exciting but again i just don't know what it's supposed to look like because i'm i'm married i have a husband we're not stationed in the same place right now so 
I don't, I'm not, I'm just not sure what that look, y'all, what I'm trying to say is everything in my life is up in the air right now, and with everything not falling into place, and it don't seem like it's going to be falling into place anytime soon, is scary, and I just honestly don't know what to do. I don't, like, I've been wrecking my brain, I'm stressed out, like, just up, trying to figure out what to plan and how to plan. And I keep trying to put it in God's hands, but the type of person I am, I still I still stress over it. I still stress over it. So that's where I'm at with that in my military career coming to an end and stuff like that. Still just trying to cope with that and find alternative ways to figure out, you know, how to how to cope. So I am 31 years old and I won't lie, there's a lot of things that I keep saying that I don't want to happen or I want to I don't know. So with everything being up in the air and not falling into place, I feel so unstable. I feel so out of place. And to be honest, I'm like in a transitional period, I feel like. And I just don't necessarily recognize myself. And I'm not okay with, like, it's not a bad, bad thing. Because it's not like, like, it's a dangerous, I don't feel like myself. But I just don't like how out of control of my entire life that I feel. It's bad enough being in the military, you don't have control as it is. Oh y'all, I'm using this Rare Beauty Concealer um, in the color 480W. I don't see a name on it though. It's like my life is falling apart. <laughs> my life is falling apart, I swear. Not really though, let, let, me, let, me, let me not be dramatic. My life isn't necessarily falling apart, but it feels like that, especially when you're literally, I have no control right now. I have no control right now. And one of the things that I learned to do, and it's weird because I kind of learned it through trial and error and going through a lot of the stuff that I was going through. Um, my life is out of control. It's in a, I feel like it's in a good way because I don't feel, let me see, how can I put this? I don't recognize myself and that's not necessarily a bad thing because it's not a dangerous, I don't recognize myself. I feel like my life is out of control or my life is falling apart. It's not falling apart, it feels out of control because again, with everything being up in the air, and one of the things that I learned to cope with that is when it comes to my goals and stuff like that, I just started making goals that I'm the only one that's in control of. And that's one of the things that I will tell you if you feel any any type of way, like how I'm feeling. Hold on, I'm going to make sure this comes out right. I like that. We gonna go with it. But if you feel how I'm feeling, you just feel like everything is kind of out of control. Everything is up in the air and you just don't know what to do. Have goals that you and only you are in control of. So if whatever reason those things don't happen for you. Sam's trying to get into the bathroom. Those of you new, Sam is my cat. Hold on. <laughs> Anyway, so what was I saying? Having goals that you and only you are in control of because then that kind of brings you a sense of accomplishment. She just pushed the door. Oh, ah, wait a second. So having goals that you and only you are 100% in control of, it gives you a little bit of control back over your life and it helps you kind of ground yourself. Let's back it up for a second. The point of this video is me giving you the tips that works for me to help me stay grounded because again as a 31 year old woman i feel like i'm behind i feel like i should have done more at this point in my life i just feel i know i'm doing a lot for myself i know there's a lot of things that i have to be proud of and don't get me wrong i am but i i can't help but feel like i should have been more I feel like I should have been further in my life and I don't like having that feeling because like I said, I've accomplished so much. I'm, I've done so much and I'm doing so well for myself. So why do I still feel like I'm not good enough and I hate that feeling so much. So as far as just reminding myself, I don't want to do this. I wish this concealer, like I had a brighter concealer than this because obviously this ain't really doing much for me, but this is what I got. So this is what I got to this is what I gotta work with. Hold on, let me see. Mm. Mm. I don't know, what do I wanna do about that? I don't like it. 
let me brush out my eyebrows maybe i'll feel better anyway so one of the things that i've been doing is um making sure my goals are in my like i'm in complete control over my goals and that's the first tip that i want to give you guys is create goals that only you are in control of because that gives you especially if you're like me and you feel out of control type a personality like whatever whatever, whatever you want to call it create goals that only you are in control of for example if you want to lose weight if you want to learn how to drive if you want to learn how to cook a certain dish all of those like those type of goals um like wanting to wake up earlier for example one of my goals is i want to wake up earlier i want to work out more i want to eat healthier those type of things are in your control so if for whatever reason you don't accomplish those goals you have nobody but yourself to blame. But it's not to be hard on yourself, it's to give yourself a little bit of control. So the way I use it, and I have all my goals, all those goals specifically in my phone. So on those particular days where I'm overwhelmed and I'm super stressed out and I just don't have any direction, I don't know, I don't know my ups for my downs on these particular days, I have my phone there. And so what I do, hold on y'all, I'm trying to see if this light is too bright. Ooh. I feel like it's too late in the game to change it now. No, we just gonna leave it. We just gonna go with it. I literally pull out my phone. I go to my list. I look at my list and see the things that okay. What can I be focusing on right now? Um, hold on. I think about the things like what can I be focusing on right now? What will better occupy my time worrying about than worrying about something that's out of my control i find a goal and i kind of focus on that for example like one of my goals is to get my rrt i'm a respiratory i'm a certified respiratory therapist but i want to be a registered respiratory therapist and i was at work a few days ago and when i say i was like literally running myself through the ground just stressing over things that don't matter like there was things that are literally out of my control it makes no sense so why am i i can't fix it and I can't make it like why am I concerning myself with something that I literally can't control and it was to the point I started having like a little panic attack I'm overwhelmed and I go into my phone I look and I'm like okay where are my goals what exactly am I wanting to do right now see my goal get RRT the only thing I could do in that moment was just study I said okay let me just do that Put everything away i didn't have to deal with any patients at that moment either i just started studying and that's kind of how you use that that list that goal list to kind of keep yourself grounded keep yourself focused and not have to, not not live in your mind a little too much okay mm, i kind of like this i hope it's coming across on camera because it's cute and y'all i'm running so late it's okay it'll be fine um what do I want to do next? Ooh. So I found this, um, it's, I think this is a bronzer. And I found it at the beauty supply store not too long ago. And so instead of using contour, I started using this on my face. And I think I don't I can't remember why or when I started using this, but I did it once and it just was so much softer than using like the because I used the cream. I would always use the cream contour but I used this at some point I can't remember when and it just looks so much softer it was just so much better and it was just so much easier to blend out so go ahead and do that real quick I don't know if y'all can see that do y'all see that and I like how it's buildable too like you start off with a little bit and you just keep going but when I was using and I look I put my blood my contour all in here so I can get that <laughs> but when I was using the um the cream contour it would just be so harsh and I did not like that so I guess you can see like I'm just bronzing the sides of my face I guess I don't know and then I have dark areas on the side of my face in those areas anyway so it just looks a little bit to me it looks a little bit more natural so I really like that but yeah as far as just keeping myself grounded especially when you're dealing with a lot that's really been helping me and just making sure that I keep reminding myself that I'm doing perfectly fine I'm about to be two years into my 30 somethings and it's hard. It's hard looking up and thinking like, okay, there's so many people that's so much younger than me that, you know, are doing so much better than me. And 
I, sh I wish I would have started this at this time. I wish I would have, well, you didn't. You can't, re re you can't reverse time. Like you didn't do it then, you can still do it now. Because one of the things that I still be thinking about is I'm about to be 30 something in nursing school. And I keep telling myself like, I'm so old, I'm so, I'm, why do I think that? And I know I'm not the only one that think that because I be talking to some of my friends that's my age, obviously, and they be thinking the same thing. And it's so crazy because when I be having those conversations with them, I be thinking to myself like, but you're doing so good. Like, wh why are you doubting yourself? But you're doing so good in life. And I'm pretty sure they probably be looking at me like, girl, are you crazy? People will kill to be where you're at. So yeah, I guess we all just be going through it sometimes. I am going to do this blush next and I use these rare beauty um these two this is the joy and this is the grapefruit and I mix these two together like I'll just put a little dot of each and I'll just mix them up on my cheeks and they usually look so pretty so let's go ahead and see what happens the next thing is I learn to understand that my journey is my journey and nobody else's and stop comparing my journey to other people and stop like it's okay to take advice from people but not in a like when, okay, so when people give you advice, people always say take it with a grain of salt or, you know, take what applies to you or what you can use and leave the rest. Like, don't get offended. Don't don't get mad. Don't feel like you have to change everything about yourself simply because somebody gave you this advice and you feel like that they're in a better position than you. And again, this is something that I had to learn. And one of those, like, for example, it's a very small example, but the best example that I can come up with is... Um, when people are talking about your morning routine, when you wake up early in the morning and you shouldn't, oh, so much. When you wake up early in the morning and you shouldn't touch your phone, like that shouldn't be the first thing you go for in the morning. In which I, I understand, like you shouldn't be clouding your mind the first thing in the morning with scrolling on social media and things like that. But as far as I'm concerned, my life looked completely different than yours. And that's one of the things that I had to really understand because there's no reason why I need to change what it is that I'm doing simply because it works for somebody else. My life looks completely different than somebody else that may live by that rule. Because I am in a long distance marriage. I have my daughter in one state, my son's in another state, I'm in the military. So the, we communicate with our phones. So the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, I want to text my husband good morning. I want to text my kids good morning. I want to make sure I don't have any crazy emergency text messages. I want to make sure my leadership haven't tried to contact me at 4 o'clock in the morning about a UA. It, it's it's a difference and so with even little simple things like that don't make yourself feel bad because this person or that person is saying oh no you shouldn't do that that's just going to throw you off that's going to no mm -mm. so part of my journey is that's what I want to do I want to wake up in the morning I want to get on my phone I want to make sure everything is still copacetic everything is the way it's supposed to be and then I carry on with my day that way and so even little things like that, don't let other people determine your journey. Don't let people determine your routine and the way you decide to walk through the path that you're on. That is something small, but am I making sense? Like, I'm sorry, but am I making sense? I'm, I'm, I'm simply just trying to say it's okay for you to do things your way if it's working for you. And if it's getting you down the path into the place where you want to be ultimately with your life. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm hoping that's coming across. I hope that's making sense. <laughs> Let me blend this out a little bit more. That goes with anything, like whether or not you're talking about having kids and how you're having kids and when you're having kids and what, what your life looks like and things like that. But that brings me to my next thing that I had to learn is your timing is your timing. Just like your journey is your journey. Your timing is your timing and do not rush your timeline or do not rush to do something simply because you see someone else doing it. If that, if I'm pretty sure that makes sense. For example, like me, um, I got, I had my kids young. I, I got pregnant at 17. Obviously back then I was even hard on myself. Like, oh my God, my life is over, blah, blah, blah. Not too long after that. Well, actually quite some time after that. Cause my daughter just decided to show up, make her little um, announcement, but 
And at the time in my life when I was having kids, I was just like, why am I doing this right now? I'm not married, I'm not this, I'm not that. But God works on his own timing and God has a sense of humor. I'm telling y'all, I promise y'all God has a sense of humor. That makes me feel better. Knowing God has a sense of humor makes me feel so much better. But yes, the things that he put in place for you is going to be yours regardless. I tell myself that all the time. Like when God already said yes, I don't care who says no, he already said yes. So even though it's not your time yet, it's not your time to have a kid, it's not your time to get married, it's not your time to buy a house, it's not your time to get accepted into that school, it's not your time right now, and that's okay. So until it is your time, just continue to work on those areas in your life and perfect those areas in your life and turn yourself into what you want to be in those certain areas of your life and just be patient. What's for you is going to come to you. I promise you i know it sounds cliche i know people say that all the time but it's going to come to you it's going to come to you and that's another thing is coming back to the last point is and i talked about this in one of my blogs before i have to stop following a lot of spirits spiritual base or faith-based influencers because one thing about me is i'm a stress i'm a stress out i put things in god's hand i trust my lord i trust in my god with my whole entire heart with all the faith that i have and i do put my problems in his hands and i feel like it just it just brings me so much comfort but i'm still stressed and i cannot stand when i'm like seeking advice from people and i'm like talking to people and i'm venting like explaining certain things to certain people that i obviously had to stop talking to and they say, well, maybe you need to pray more or maybe you need to go to church. Maybe you need to have your faith because if you really put it in God's hands, you wouldn't be stre you wouldn't be stressing. Y'all, it's okay to stress. Okay, it's okay to trust in your God. It's okay to have full faith in someone and still be scared. I'm gonna put it that way. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Let's go ahead and skip to the next point I was trying to make. I'm gonna see if I want to put on... <laughs> I want to try some eyeshadow. I don't know. I wish I had an eyeshadow with. Oh, you know what? I think I do have something I can use. Not this. Hold on. I have this blush, but I think I want to try to use it as an eyeshadow because this is the pink. It's like pinkish. This color here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color. What is this? Blush. Fraju, I don't know. Let me see. I'm about to see some real quick, cause it looks pretty. I mean, what I'm thinking, it okay, okay, yes, yes, maybe. Hold on. Oh yes, okay. I'm about to do that. So while I do this, let's go ahead and talk. Is this blended out enough? Y'all don't let me walk out of here looking crazy. Okay. Anyway, so the other thing that's really been helping me as far as um, feeling like I am a put together woman in her 30s <laughs> when I am not is having a plan for your life. And I recommend that for everybody. Just have a plan with your life, like have an idea of what you want your life to look like. And me personally, I never wanted to. I know this is going to sound weird, but I never wanted to be rich. I never wanted to be rich. I never wanted to be famous. I, I'm from Iowa. I'm from a really small town in Iowa. I just wanted to be happy. I wanted to be comfortable. I wanted to have the funds in my account if something were to go, you know, wrong. I had it to cut. Like, I just wanted to live a comfortable life. I wanted to live a comfortable, peaceful life. And that was my dream. That was my American dream. I don't know about everybody else. Well, I mean, I kind of do because it seems like everybody want that like really flashy life and stuff like that. But that's not something that I, I ever really, it's not something I really wanted necessarily. Um, this here. No, not there either. So as far as having a plan for my life, I mean, literally, I know exactly what I want my finances to look like. I know what I want 
my appearance to look like i know where i want to live i know what kind of house i want um obviously the suv i already know what kind of suv i want don't get me wrong i have a dream car but because i know i don't want to pay a whole entire house payment like I couldn't justify paying $160,000 on a car. Maybe if my tax bracket reached that point, I'll think about it again, but I can admire a car and say a car is my dream car without feeling the need or the desire to actually go out and get it. You get what I'm saying? So as far as having a, a plan for your life, just kind of plan out your life in every aspect of what you want it to look like from down from the type of career you want down to your daily routine on what you want your day to day to look like and start planning backwards from there. Like, what do I need to do to live this life, this version of my life that I want? And that's where I'm at right now. And obviously, when it comes to it, it, it you have to treat it like a working copy, okay? I'm gonna put it that way. You have to treat it like a, a working copy because things can always move and shift around. So if you know something is no longer fitting for your life or your visions change or whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and adjust fire and move from there. But ultimately always have a plan for what it is that you want your life to look like and always be working towards that goal. Like that that right there, I should have started with that because that right there should be your main focus. That should be your main overall focus as to why you're doing the things that you're doing because the things that you're doing should ultimately be leading up to that end goal. Again, something else to just keep me grounded is just me, this is just what I do, but. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to get uncomfortable. I'm gonna use, hold on. Y'all, I got these palettes that I've had for quite some time from Ross, and I love them. They be having all these colors in them. Oh, I love it so much. They could be a bit more pigmented, but all in all, they're fine. Anyway, oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Let me get my life together. One of the other things that I had to learn how to do or had to understand is... I needed to get uncomfortable. Like, I felt myself getting way too comfortable Y'all, I'm just doing stuff at this point and I'm hoping this don't fuck up. Okay, okay. We gonna leave that there for, for just for a second. Let's try to match this one over here because I feel like I'm messing up. But um, I felt like I was getting too comfortable when it, when it came to like what it is that I was doing in life. I really wasn't challenging myself. And I feel like a part of that is because at some point, and I don't know if it's because I'm just getting older, I got scared and I'm still a little bit scared to be taking risks. Like I feel like for whatever reason, and I keep saying this, but I feel like I'm, I'm I feel like I, I'm too old to be starting over. Like, you're, okay, I don't want this to sound bad because you're never too old to start over. Isn't You're never too old to go to school. You're never too old to start a new career. You're never too old to get out of a horrible relationship. You're never too old to hop into another loving relationship. But for me, I just feel like I don't want to make the wrong decision. Back then, I used to be very carefree and very... Um, I want to say spontaneous, not, not spontaneous, but not brazen. I don't know. I just used to just take risk. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Like I used to ooh, hope that looks right. I used to take risk because I knew, okay, if I mess up with this, I got time. Or if I mess up with this, it's fine. I'll just, you know, bounce back later. But now I'm talking about, I have a husband now to think about. I have my kids. Um, they're older and things can be a little bit more risky. I just don't want to take those risks. There's so many more people at risk than just me. If I were to go and do something and make a stupid mistake. But even with that being said, there's certain things that I've learned that you can't be comfortable and you have to just get out there and do it. And so a lot of times I've been telling myself, why not? Like if there's something that I want to do, if there's something that I want to experience, obviously I'm not going to do something that's super careless, that's going to completely jeopardize my financial future for a very long time. But if it's something that I want to try and I don't want to have regrets that I didn't try it later, just why not? Just get out there, try it out and see what happens. And that's kind of where I'm at with that. So just so I'm not feeling stagnant or feeling 
too comfortable. I've been pulling myself out of my comfort zone and doing things that I wouldn't necessarily do out of fear. So for example, putting my business on social media. Like one of my why not things was getting accepted into nursing school, y'all. When I applied, so I've been trying to get into nursing school for the absolute longest. Again, if you're new here, I am an LPN. I'm also a respiratory therapist but i ultimately want to go to well attempt to go to crna school so i gave it a try and when i, I submitted my nursing application y'all i felt like it sucked a lot because i kind of rushed it it was kind of last minute i'm like you know i'm getting out of the army now let's just see where it goes and i kid you not there was nothing at all that would have made me think that they are going to say yes they're going to be like oh my gosh this application is so good we gotta have her no i thought my application sucked but I said, why not? I got my things together. I threw it in there and I just tried and boom, I got selected. And now I'm like, okay, that's so good. I'm so happy. I'm so excited I got selected. The next thing I was thinking about was, how the hell am I going to pay for this? <laughs> I had no plan after that application. Like I just submitted the application with no follow through plan at all. No, no nothing. So that's kind of what I mean by like you know why not or one of my goals this year if you haven't seen my 2024 goals list you should go and watch that but one of my goals was um upgrading my car now that was under my financial goals and just go watch the video it would make sense but um i told myself like i mean if i can't upgrade then i won't but the opportunity presented itself. And even though I was still like doubting myself through the process, I kept saying, why not? Like, why why not? And boom, look at me with a new car. Again, not my dream car because I'm not that crazy, but it's a car that I've had my eyes on for a really long time. And I am I love this car. I'm super excited to have it. I have a lot of things to get to my husband as well. Like, it's just another why not, you know? I figure it out on the back end type of thing. <laughs> I'm about to put, hold on y'all, cause now I'm just trying stuff at this point, which I really shouldn't, but like I know how to do my makeup. I'm already running late. Oh, that actually turned out really good. I like it. Okay, no? Okay. Let's not get carried away, but I feel like this side needs a little bit more. See, and then this is when things start messing up because you're trying to do stuff. Okay. Why does that one? Okay, let's just try it. There we go. I'm about to say, this one looks like, I don't know. Anyway. What do I want to do next? Ooh, you know what? I'm going to try. Oh my gosh. I want to try to put this liner on, but I don't know. Okay. See, look, it's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> Shouldn't be trying this. Okay. Why is that? Yeah, I shouldn't try it, huh? Let's just see. If I could just get this back in here, because I, I don't think I can do it with it out, right? Hold on, I think I have something for this. Ooh, I got the pencil version. Okay, I'm about to try to put like a thin liner on the top of my eye. All right, I'm about to go and do this real quick. If I come back and it's perfect, everything worked out. If it comes back and I have a lot of black smudges, I'm wiping everything off, telling her I'm not coming, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Give me one second. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, the last thing I have to do, I think. Um, you know what? Let me spray my face first before. For whatever reason, I burned my eyes, <laughs> so I gotta fan it. Um, let it dry down, but I'm going to put on some mascara real quick because I don't know if y'all can tell, but now I'm rushing. 
don't mind being late, but I don't want to be too late. Oh my gosh, I don't want to be late at all. I don't want my lashes to look like they're all clumped together. But the last thing I wanted to mention while I, I guess, use this to blot my face, because dang. But um, understand that your goals are transferable. And that's one of the things that I had to learn year after year after year when there's some things that I wanted to accomplish or certain things that I had on my goals list that I didn't get an opportunity to accomplish within the year that I wanted to accomplish them in, obviously. Um, I would be really hard on myself about that. And that's so unnecessary and that's so unhealthy. We really need to start being a little bit nicer to ourselves. I feel like there's a hair on my nose. But if there's something that you don't accomplish this year, who is telling you that you have to be so stressed out over it? Who is telling you that you're a failure? Nobody is telling you that except you, especially when they're those personal goals that nobody even knew about, but for some reason you still beat yourself up about it because you didn't accomplish it. No one is telling you that you're not good enough but you, and that's something that we need to stop doing. Your goals are transferable. So whatever you don't get to this year, whatever you don't accomplish this year, do it next year. Just put it on your goals list for next year. I'm I promise you, I promise you, it's not, it's not a big of a deal as you think it is. And on top of that, y'all, really? Oh, there is really, okay, I got it. But on top of that, it's not going to do you any good stressing about it. Like if it, com if it comes December and there's one or two or maybe even three things you did not check off that list, it's not going to happen at that point. It's not going to happen at that point. The only thing I can tell you at that point is if it's really bothering you, get come up with a goal, something that you know you can get done in a few weeks or whatever, right? And try to accomplish that before the end of the year. But as far as the goals and stuff that you have set currently, if there's something that you don't complete by the time you wanted it to be completed, i.e. December, put it on next year. Don't even stress yourself a don't even stress yourself out about it and that kind of goes into stop worrying about everybody else's timeline your timeline is completely different from their timeline and you are in control of yourself that goes into this is the right one that goes back into um, creating goals that you and only you are in control of because by the end of the year, if you set goals that only you are in control of, that means you have to actually hold yourself accountable to get those goals accomplished, right? So if by the end of the year, those things don't happen, you have nobody but yourself to blame. But on the other hand, if you keep yourself, if you hold yourself accountable, you will be able to look back at all of your goals list and see those bubbles checked off if you're like me and you put it in notes with a little bubble right there and you see all those goals checked off, I'm telling you, it's gonna feel so fulfilling. But I, I can't emphasize enough, if it's something that you didn't get the opportunity to accomplish in 2024, 2025 is right there and nobody is going to be mad at you if you go ahead and roll that goal over because that's 100 going to be my mindset when the time comes just like it was my mindset this year because little do y'all know some of those goals on my 2024 goals list those were things that i wanted to accomplish in 2023 and i didn't got i it didn't happen so i'm going to try again this year if you fail try again if you fall get back up and try it again i hope this video wasn't too all over the place because i and even if it was that's just how i feel right now y'all hold on i'm still trying to get my lashes okay like i feel like you can barely see them do y'all like this look did i do okay because i haven't i don't really do my makeup but um but yeah if it was all over the place i'm sorry that's just how i'm feeling at the moment in my life my life feels like it's like all over the place um but i'm trying to be as helpful as i possibly can i promise i'm trying to see if i want to put these actually i'm gonna wear these chunky ones and these are just things that i'm starting to learn now that i am two years into my 30s i think i want to start doing these little chit chats a little bit more even if they are all over the place even if they are nothing at some point my life is going to start to come together and my thoughts aren't going to be so jumbled they're not going to be so incoherent i'm going to start making sense <laughs> i just bit my tongue trying to say that but uh, i'm going to start making sense right 
And so I think what I'm gonna call these little chit chats or my series or whatever the case may be is in my 30 somethings because that's kind of what this um, perspective is from is in my 30 somethings. I feel like there's a lot of things in my teenage years and my 20s that I just did not get the opportunity to do like other people in their teens or in their 20s would have gotten to do. And a lot of those things I'm getting to do now that I'm in my 30s, i.e. going back to school, finally traveling. I've never been outside the United States and I promise I cannot wait to make that happen. Getting married, things like that, that I'm finally getting to experience now that I am in my 30s. So like I said, I'm not following anybody else's timeline but my own. So let me know if you guys like this video. Let me guys know if you like this makeup. Mine is, okay, hold on. Let me relax my face. That's one thing that I have to do since they messed up my face is I can't make too many crazy facial expressions. But, um, do you guys like my makeup? Did I do a good job? Um, let me know if you guys like this series. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos and I can go ahead and make more of them. But now I am about to go ahead and get rushing out of here. So, yeah. I'm gonna come back real quick so I can show y'all my outfit though. This one I bet you will be jabbed Me, I know get tired of it, jabbed up The dark over my face, calling me jabbed up Me, the man, we do be jabbed up Some of the end of state But my people then go say I don't want to buy 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 I don't